friends, uh, uh, probably you have finished uh, the multi-section surface in the last step. In the next step, uh, we are going to create intersection curve and uh, with this intersection curve, with this, we will split the multi-section surface and this will be the result. So this will be your the, this will be your result of this uh, step. First, it's very easy. You can do it. So first, we need to find the parents. Create a sketch. Okay. So now you are going to create this. So friends, this is the sketch that you are going to create. And uh, for this, uh, to create this sketch, your first step is to create this arc. Try to create this highlighted arc and uh, notice the radius and, uh, and the center point of this arc is uh, around uh, 17 mm below this horizontal line and 1.41 uh, mm from this vertical axis. It is little bit uh, shifted, uh, not right on the vertical zero axis. So first uh, work is to create. You can first uh, create one uh, arc. You can create it by this in this way. This is the center point you could find first uh, give a radius uh, radius will be 29.29.127 okay suppose it's a, it is our axis is horizontal and it is vertical if it is vertical make it fix make it fix uh, is this, this is an example of this curve that I'm going to show you instead of uh, making it in outside of the sketch I would like to show you how to create it and uh, mm -hmm. my suggestion don't do like this so you have to create it right uh, on your uh, horizontal and vertical axis that uh, this is just example okay so the diamonds we one point four one and uh, from horizontal is somewhat 17 mm. 7 and another and create a radius radius is 326 this is the radius okay then uh, it is ninety two point five mm from this vertical axis so suppose this is our vertical it's in 92.5 same it should be tangent then give a radius the radius is 43 this will be 43 and uh, I 
think this constraint is not necessary for us. Why this constraint? Sometimes it automatically create some constraints which is not necessary for us. And next we are going to create 30.386 mm from this the center point of this is just 30.386 mm and you can you could use this command to trim this and also you could use the trim 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 The sketch check the sketch analysis to check the continuity so in this way you could create the sketch of this uh, to like this your sketch will be like this this will be your resultant uh, sketch pause your video and you could uh, rememberize the dimensions that I have used and this is the axis origin so this is horizontal and this is vertical in my screen it is like this first create this sketch then uh, make a tangent curve. play with this sketch uh, curves there is a lot of way to do in to this uh, to get this profile I show you a simple example how to create this profile you could create this profile it's very easy we are going to create this extrude extrude surface you can use uh, anything extrude by selecting this if it is a sketch it is take directly the direction of sketch plane so and uh, the sketch plane is this is the sketch plane so this is and the direction of this extrude will be normal to this uh, zx plane gx plane okay extrude command is here you can find it somewhere at this place or else uh, insert uh, surface extrude two methods you can find it out example uh, you can play with this limit you can increase